Hello, I'm Big Potato Bex. On today's programme, I'll be showing you how to make scorpion a l'orange and reset the clock on your microwave. But first, I'm going to show you how to play. Nice buns. To win, you'll need to get three sets of three buns in three different colours, all onto your plate before anyone else. First, everyone takes a plate. Then place the serving tray in the middle of the table. Next, we tip all the buns, including the fish head buns, into our steamer bag like so. And then, give it a real good shake. Then offer two buns to each of your guests. It's really important that the two buns you take from the steamer bag don't match and that you don't have any fish head buns. If that happens, just pop them back in the bag and try again. As you can see, we place our buns next to the plates, not on them. Your plates are only for a complete set of bao buns. Next, take six more buns from your steamer bag and pop them onto the main serving tray, like so. It doesn't matter if some are matching here. But again, we don't want any fish head buns, so if you get any of those, like this, pop it back and draw another one. Gorgeous. Next, we're going to take a look at our dice. When playing nice buns, you roll the dice and then resolve them in size order. The small dice goes first, then the medium dice, and finally, the large dice. Let's take a look at what I rolled here. This means I can take two random buns from the steamer bag, take a blue or yellow bun from the serving tray, and steal a bun from another player. But before we resolve these, the person who rolled the dice, in this case, me, must split the dice into two separate groups, containing either two dice and one dice, or three dice and zero dice. I'm choosing to put the large dice with the small dice and to leave the medium one on its own. Now the person on your left chooses one set of dice for themselves and leaves the remaining set to the person who rolled them. So first, the player who has the small dice resolves their action. In this case, that means taking two buns from the steamer bag. Next, the medium dice, that's mine. This symbol means that I can take a blue or yellow bun from the serving tray. Whenever you remove a bun from the serving tray, you must replace it with one from the steamer bag. And remember, fish head buns never go on the serving tray. If you draw one, just put it back and try again. Finally, the player with the large dice resolves their action. This one means the player can steal a bun from someone else. One of our players now has three blue buns. As soon as someone has a set of three, they automatically get placed onto their plate. Those are locked in and protected on the plate now. No one can trade or steal them. Now we keep going. The next player takes the dice and rolls them just as I did. These dice mean draw three from the steamer bag, take a blue or yellow bun from the serving tray, and trade a bun with someone else's. So again, the person on the left of the dice roller now chooses which set of dice to use. Mmm, good instincts. All right, first, our small dice. Remember, you must take the buns one at a time. So we've got one red, that joins the other red bun. Then we've got one. Uh-oh. It's a fish head bun! You want to avoid drawing these because they will attach themselves to whatever colour of bun you have the most of. The problem with fish head buns is that it means you could end up with a group of four buns. And when you have a group of four buns, then they all have to go straight back into the steamer bag. Bad news. The red bun gets added to the other red buns. Along with the fish head, that makes it a group of four. So, all of these 
go back in the bag. Now the player with the medium dice resolves the action. They take a blue or a yellow bun from the serving tray. Then resolve the large dice. Looks like my yellow bun is being traded for a blue one. That makes another group of three. Play continues until someone has three sets of three buns in three different colours on their plate. And now for my top tip. The fish head bun is slippery. If you have one in your collection, it always moves onto the largest colour grouping you have. So if it's attached to one red bun and suddenly you get two blues, that's right, it immediately moves onto your two blue buns. And that's how you play Nice Buns, our high rolling, bun collecting buffet game. And if you're still hungry for more, join the Potato Club. <clears throat> They'll give you a chance to win games, access to a handy replacement part service and all of the latest news and discounts. So join up on the link below.